So welcome back to another Delivered Review. This week we are doing a comparison again, obviously a review of the McCrispy Deluxe, but just because they're very similar burgers, again, wasn't really sure Burger King having a burger that was a steakhouse crispy. So again, not 100% sure about the steakhouse side of it, but the actual burger itself, chicken burger, um, essentially was very similar. Just the, I think the mayo was probably the, the biggest difference really. Um, so as you can see there, McCrispy Deluxe, Salumi Fries, and also the Hot Cross Bun Pie, which I'll say right now is really good. But the pies are always good, so, you know. Um, just for a little bit of uh, background, McDonald's, first McDonald's again, 1953. So McDonald's brought out the McCrispy Deluxe, and last week, in terms of Burger King, they did the Gourmet, Steakhouse crispy chicken, which you can see there. Now they look kind of similar here in terms of actual side by side, horrendous McDonald's, first of all. Burger King, not too bad, um, but they were still, you know, they get into the point where I don't think they're actually built right. They don't, nobody cares anymore. Just throw it together, get it out, charge as much as you can, job done. Um, First of all, the halloumi fries, let's just go over those. A crispy batter, kind of got a, a lot of space in there. The halloumi was, was pretty skinny. So nothing like Miller and Carter, nothing like Ohana's, Ohan's. I must say that wrong every single time. Um, they were just frozen halloumi sticks with a bit of batter on them. They, they, it's, it's not getting better, I don't think, in terms of, especially doing these reviews and you actually see uh, week by week kind of what is what, whereas you just have a takeaway and you don't really acknowledge it as such fries with the fries mcdonald's fries again i think they're just they're, they're going to be forever obviously they're they're not going to change them they're the skinny um i'd say reasonable as in a, a french fry um but they the minute that they go a little bit cool or, or the heat kind of falls off them that they they're not good so straight away i mean you can see there like the, the actual burger itself is a crunchy coated um fillet so chicken breast fillet the fillet wasn't particularly thick not saying burger kings was um hot and spicy mayo caramelized onion compote lettuce bacon i didn't have red onion raw red onions because I, i'm not i just can't do it raw red onions just takes over everything and a slice of cheddar cheese on a sourdough style bun the sourdough style bun was nice but you can see right there like almost having to just rebuild the burger now i'm not saying that is the burger itself that's just somebody that put it together but it ruins everything. So even to kind of compare to Burger King is now a little bit more difficult. The bacon itself wasn't particularly well cooked. Um, the lettuce, you know, in terms of versus Rocket, obviously being gourmet, I'd say the Rocket definitely won. Um, the burger itself in terms of Burger King was a nicer burger. It, everything kind of uh, sort of mated together better. Flavors were better together. This deluxe, you could ha you could basically taste the spicy uh, mayo coming through. That that was quite nice, but it took over everything else. The caramelized onions, you couldn't really taste that well. Like they were kind of lost, like I say, to the to the spicy mayo. The bun itself was quite nice, but overall, and I, I'm sure I've said this many times, it's still got that like McDonald's. I don't know, it's just freeze dried, I guess. Everything's, nothing's fresh at all. And it's got that dryness to it. You can even see there the top of the bun is, it's, it's like dense, but it's, you know, people have put McDonald's burgers into boxes, I think, and left them for 10 years and they just don't deteriorate. So, you know, I think that says a lot. You can see kind of the mess that's left on the plate, which really was like, I'd say I could use four of the, you know, different words, but it was annoying, let's just say, in terms of you paying almost a tenner for a burger obviously with fries and you just get in just slapped together so the burger itself i'm going to say 100 percent burger king won um mcdonald's you'll see in a minute the rating I, I just didn't rate it at all however the hot cross bun pie actually tasted like a hot cross bun. It, like I, I don't know what else to say it was really nice um the pies, I will always say apple pies, you know, the raspberry pie that I had before, um, the caramel double chocolate, or was it caramel chocolate, caramel and chocolate pie before. 
um, galaxy caramel, sorry, that, that was really nice. But the pies are always nice. Um, they're sometimes a little bit too crispy, like they've just been deep fried a little bit too much, but you'll see in a second. The rating was, as somebody said to me, McDonald's doesn't deserve any more than six. And I honestly think they're right. But because of the pie, we'll give it a 6.5. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the views and we're not far off 100 subscribers. I know it's not a lot, but like, comment and share.